We at Bible and Archaeology are in the middle of decorating for the holidays, and like many of you, we came across a nativity set. The nativity set is a classic image that, in addition to decorating homes this season, can be found throughout classical art, on Christmas cards, and in countless Christmas films and television specials. But have you ever stopped to ask exactly how we came to have that classical nativity scene most of us are used to seeing? Is this nativity the image of the nativity that comes from the Gospel of Matthew or of Luke? Or is it something different altogether? Don't worry, we aren't here to spoil your childhood Christmas memories. We simply want to take a tour around that old nativity set to expand our appreciation for how and why this image has come to be expected as the norm. If we're going to talk about the nativity, it makes sense to start with the setting. To get an idea of our setting, we need to turn to Luke 2.7, which says, And she gave birth to her firstborn, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Now, there are a few things we need to unpack in this verse to understand how we get from this description to the famous image we are used to seeing of Mary and Joseph huddled in a barn or cave beside a manger. In this video, we are going to focus on what has possibly become the most famous portion of this verse. There was no place for them in the inn. From our context, it is easy to read this passage and create the mental image of Mary and Joseph being turned away from an overbooked roadside inn and being forced to seek whatever shelter they can find. However, this idea is based on a combination of poor translation and a misunderstanding of domestic architecture. To get to the bottom of this, we need to turn to the Greek word that is translated as in, katalumati, from the root kataluma. Reading this as in in the modern sense, that is, reading it as describing an establishment that solely provides lodging, is a misunderstanding of what is being described. What is translated as in here in Luke 2 7 is better understood as a room within a residence that could be used as a guest room of sorts. And we know this to be the case not just from other Greek texts, but from the New Testament itself. The same word appears in Mark 14 14 when Jesus is giving instructions to the disciples preparing for the Passover meal, and he says, that they are to say to the man, Where is my guest room, kataluma, where I may eat the Passover meal with my disciples? What Luke is describing is not Mary and Joseph being denied a room at the Ramada. Rather, he is telling us that the guest room at the house they are staying in is too full to accommodate anyone else. So then, where exactly do they go? And where does this manger come from? Check out our next video to find out. Until then, from all of us here at Bible and Archaeology, I'm Dr. Bob Cargill wishing you everything the best.